Hi baby bimbos, welcome to our slumber party today. Um, I have my lavender iced tea from my local farmer's market. You guys should absolutely get your bougie little drinks out because we are going to be getting into all of the hot gossip on you. Woo! Let's see what's coming in here. Oh, sorry. I just had to sip my tea first. Okay. Let's get into it though. Of course, I'm going to be using my sex deck, which you can buy. The link will be in the description below. That was hardly a <laughs> pronounced description. I don't know why I said it like that. But yeah, let's get into it. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. Or er, the good gossip on you, the gossip behind your back, what people are saying. Woo! And that's so funny because I was literally on the back of the deck when I was showing it off. So we have hopeless romantic passion yes so i feel like the gossip on you is actually kind of regarding your guys's love life i'm definitely seeing that like people could literally be gossip girling like your love life where just a lot of people are talking about it who you're seeing who you're dating you guys could be single really popping off right now really loving your sex in the city kind of vibe and so i feel like there's a lot of people talking about you and your love life and who you're dating um it could be somebody that like people haven't seen before too or whatever but yeah i definitely see that you guys are very passionate very driven you guys could also be going after a career kind of move i feel like you guys could have just hit the jackpot in your career throat chakra blockages even though people aren't recognizing you i feel like you should be recognizing yourself honey that's why we're celebrating at our cute little slumber party right now because i feel like you guys have really been popping off and especially when it comes to something that you guys are passionate about it's going really 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 well for you so of course we're celebrating tonight okay and other people i feel like are talking kind of behind your back but maybe not to your face just about how well you guys are doing literally just as i was saying financial stability gifts maybe about the gifts that you guys have been getting oh my god i literally just heard if you guys literally got sugar daddies and people could be talking about that too or like somebody that can provide for you more financially um somebody that's more financially stable but also this could reflect you know you guys popping off in your career and doing really really well in your career and just like creating that financial stability for yourself i feel like there's a lot of people talking about that and the fact that you're doing a great job of it look at all these beautiful gifts coming in i see that you guys could be getting commissioned for your art i just heard commissioned for your work too that could be something that you're waiting on maybe getting into an art gallery is something that you guys have been waiting on as well but i totally see that coming in for you i see just like emails so definitely be sure to check your email for opportunities i see just a lot of opportunities coming in here and there's a lot of people talking about that too you guys could be doing a lot of networking as well hmm okay interesting we have exploration as in pain so that's really <laughs> interesting um i feel like on the surface level like you guys could have got a new tattoo or a new piercing that people could be talking about something that like genuinely kind of um intrigues people maybe it looks like super hot on you um other than that i feel like you guys could really be um, they also just said like going to therapy too, which other people could be talking about. Like the fact that you guys are exploring your pain, exploring your past wounds, tapping into your shadow self, really working on yourself in that way. I feel like a lot of people are noticing too, just you guys like really, really, really heightening the standards, not only for the people around you, but for yourself too. Like literally heightening those standards for yourself too. But, um, yeah. And especially with this like hopeless romantic energy, I totally see that you guys could be welcoming in a partner into your life that is maybe into exploration when it comes to sexually and so it's a lot more satisfying for you for you guys as well somebody that might be into a little bit of bdsm or pain play also we have cold detached so maybe people are talking about the fact that like you guys are very cold detached but you could just be sharing less with the world as well even though you guys are popping off you guys just maybe aren't talking about it as much or really bringing it up like you're doing more of that sort of like silent celebrating and it's got a lot of people like curious about what's going on behind the scenes you know it's got a lot of people maybe feeling like you guys are in this detached sort of energy i feel like just because maybe you guys aren't willing to put up with the same pains or the same toxicities of the people from the past maybe because they were more of like this gossiping kind of energy it just was not something that you guys were really wanting to do anymore yes you guys are wanting to live 
more of your dream fantasy life. And guess what? People are talking about the fact that you are. Even if like you guys really don't feel like it, I feel like it's one of those like grass is always greener on the other side situations where a lot of people see you as living this beautiful dream fantasy life, you know, surrounded by beauty and luxury. You're definitely living the dream right now. And especially you guys could be living the dream financially as well, financially stabil stable while also, um, like pursuing your dreams and so it's just very very uh inspiring yeah i also just heard some of you guys could be traveling a lot more getting paid to travel having a job where you guys get to travel and see the world and there's definitely a lot of people that talk about that because that's absolutely their dream their fantasy i feel like people also talk about the fact that you guys are their dream person their dream fantasy of a human being that they would love to end up with not only do you have the financial stability the career driven the ambition the power but you also have the beauty the glamour and the romantic bone in your body too to satisfy all of those needs and on top of that you guys could be very into also exploring sexually and trying new things too which is no wonder you stumbled upon the dick witches channel welcome <laughs> a very sex positive community absolutely yeah you guys could totally be into exploring and trying different things trying new um experiences um new events too i just heard too so definitely be on the lookout for that some events it could be some secretive kind of sexy events um oh i'm like a great plug time i knew i lost this somewhere in the deck but yes i am using my sex deck today it's a very highly interpretive deck so it can be used for not only sex but also glow up career love literally anything that you're inquiring about obviously as you can tell how we're doing this right now but yes let's keep going with the reading let's see what else people are gossiping about you guys right now what is coming out of these people's mouths okay let's see <laughs> we have a party celebration i feel like they're like wow this person literally just has so much to celebrate you know so much to be happy and grateful for and I just saw 710. Also, as I said that, so 71117777111. You guys could be seeing a lot of those numerological combinations, whatever, um, in your everyday life. But yeah, I just feel like people are really talking about the, you guys have something to celebrate and it's your life right now. You guys are killing it when it comes to love, when it comes to career, when it comes to glow up, like you guys are looking really, really good. And that is absolutely something to be celebrating right now, something to be partying about and enjoying and, um, throw chakra blockages coming in here too. Yeah. Whew. I'm hearing like snakes in the grass. It's time to cut the lawn. So you guys definitely could be dealing with some snakes too, especially with this biting marking on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's interesting because I keep getting throat chakra blockages here. Let's take a little drink here and clean out some of that icky energy, right? We need to do some cleansing. You guys might need to do some saging, some cleansing, hopping in your shower and just being like, universe please wash all of this negative energy out of me and away from me and um re up it into something awesome someplace else <laughs> please thank you um but yeah i'm gonna get a drink here it's a great time to get a water as well something to really hydrate yourself your body your bones let's get some britney spears cards shall we let's shall absolutely because it's always a Britney moment. But yeah, I totally just see that you guys are living the life that other people envy and that other people want. So just know that you guys should absolutely be celebrating right now. You guys should be living it up and really just enjoying this because you guys deserve it. I'm serious. You really, really, really deserve it. Especially everything that you guys have been through. Everything that has been, you know, holding you back. Baddies. Like, literally... It's time to celebrate. It's time to party. Woo! The artist. Yeah, so this is absolutely for my creatives out there. This is absolutely the reading for you. Just to let you know that your art, 
your work, whatever you've been working on, whether it be a business or any form of art, I feel like it's really, really, really going to pay off for you guys in the end because you guys are exploring this rather than just letting it sort of fester and then die. You guys are really exploring your dream life and making the dreams a reality. Um, making the dreams work for you. Making the dreams pay the bills, okay? How much money can I make on vacation? A lot, apparently. Okay, but let's see here. Okay, maybe it would be at the beginning. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. Just as she does with music and dance, Brittany uses art to express herself and never takes her work too seriously. Unlock your creativity and see the world in bright, vibrant colors as the artist. Yes, absolutely. I'm totally seeing that. Like, this is how people think that. And I'm sure this is how you guys literally see the world. Is you see it as a place that is, you know, easily improved upon. It's almost like, like you think about like your space. You might see like a blank wall in your house and you're like, oh my God, what can we do with this, right? I'm gonna throw up some like, plants up here. I'm going to put a painting. I'm going to put some little, I don't know, star stickers, just like whatever. You guys are like putting those all over the place and you're turning blank spaces, blank pieces of the world into beautiful painted canvases. I'm seeing that you guys could literally be commissioned to work on some murals for your town again. Um, is this not the group that I said commissioned work to? I totally see that that could be coming in for you guys. So definitely be on the lookout for that, my beautiful artists, my beautiful creatives, because it's absolutely happening for you. Ooh, yes, buddies. Okay, let's see. We got, oh my God, literally one of my favorites, the blue jean queen, okay. And the boho babe. Yes, Brittany, I get it, okay. So let's read a little bit about these. I Okay, I guess we're gonna go like this. <laughs> let's do this. And then I guess I'll get another one after this. We're just gonna complete it. The blue jean queen. The blue jean moment was a perfect example of Britney's personal style. A little bit Hollywood and a little bit and a lot of authentic country glam. The blue jean queen is a fabulous reminder to be yourself whether it's at a big event or a Monday at the office. Yes, it's always to be yourself. It's always to act like yourself and, in to, and to embrace your creativity, to embrace your uniqueness and your artistry rather than to push it aside because you guys are fabulous, okay? You guys are always fabulous and it's always a great time to pay homage to your younger self or to where you came from too you know it's always a great time to embrace that i feel like too many people try to leave that behind or try to forget about that aspect of themselves when in reality like it's rooted like even britney spears still channels that you know in her own creative ways but especially with the boho babe it's about finding contentment in the everyday and discovering the magic in being yourself. The boho babe embodies all those important lessons. Let her spirit soothe you and her joy lead you to your delight. Yes, exactly. You guys are very soothing and very joyful individuals. I feel like you guys are very inspiring to a lot of people. Does not matter where you are. Oh my goodness, a lot of throw chocolate blockages coming in here. So again, I feel like you guys are very unappreciated for it. I just want to be appreciated. That's what I just heard. Like, because you guys totally just want to be appreciated. Like, as you should. Especially being this beautiful boho babe. Like, you guys absolutely, like, soothe a lot of people and lead a, a lot of other people to their joy. So it's time to start embracing it for yourself and leading yourself more towards that joy as well and celebrating yourself. A lot of people feel like you absolutely have something to celebrate and that's just your uniqueness. That's just, I feel like everything that you've already accomplished too when it comes to your creativity and your artistry and your background, your roots, your culture, where you come from, that is absolutely something to celebrate, especially when it came to, you know, where you are today and how much more accomplished and much more successful you are already in your life and it's just beautiful how much you are going to grow and continue to grow we have the st 
starlet. Yes, you guys are such a star. I love all of this like purpley, blue, pink, red energy. Like there's a lot of like, um, of like the pinky purple blue kind of hues, you know, in your vibe. I feel like it's very creative, especially magenta talks about being creative. Um, and especially if you guys are drawn to magenta, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm very drawn <laughs> to the color magenta. It's my favorite, obviously. Um, but yeah, I totally see that you guys could be drawn to a more creative lifestyle or just not something that a lot of people are cut out for, you know, but, but that's why it's, it's you guys that are going out for it. It's not those other people. But with the starlet here, we have Britney was beginning to transition from youthful pop star to young woman. And this elegant ensemble told the world that big things were in store. Yes, the starlet is all about the power of glamour to boost your mood and make a statement even without the red carpet. Okay, so it's interesting because the boho babe and the starlet both kind of reflect this similar idea that it's just great to be yourself and to dress as if to act in this main character energy whether you're just going out to the grocery store or if you're going out to some big event you do not have to wait until the big events start happening to embody more of this energy you can be this whenever you want you know you already are this in other people's eyes so you might as well start leaning into that more and acting even more like it i feel like you guys are very rebellious the truth seekers of the world, the ones that want to make a statement, the ones that want to make a difference, the ones that want to, um, yeah, be revolutionary. And of course, I feel like this comes with cutting people off. You know, this comes with getting rid of those excess people or this also comes with, you know, the gossip too. Obviously, there's going to be people talking about you guys because you are something to talk about. <laughs> if people aren't talking about you, then you're probably not doing something right. You know, then you're probably not leading the iconic life that especially this group so aspires to lead, especially with this artist. Like you guys are here to leave an impression on the world. And that doesn't even mean via popularity, via wealth, whatever. That means via your art your art your art is your art and it is unique and you are going to leave it on this planet for other people to admire for generations and generations to come you know because especially a lot of you guys like maybe aren't even into the mainstream success because you realize that a lot of artists don't even become successful until they are long gone from this planet, you know, because it's afterwards that people see the value in their art, you know, especially when it comes to doing like progressive things too, you know, like especially that is not, is super undervalued now, maybe not even so much as it was, but, but now and then later on years and years and years to come, will it be so valued and worshiped? And that is what you should be working towards, you know, not towards this instant gratification that so many of us humans desire on a regular basis, but finding the gratification in the everyday and just embracing that and realizing that your impact is much, much, much larger than a lot of people can even fathom, than a lot of people can even think about. I feel like this channel, like me, I, I'm very existentialist. So I feel like I kind of channel a lot of people with that sort of mindset. So it's really unique, even though we are bimbos, even though we are like stars and everything, we still think about, you know, the future and how we will affect the future and how our work will be perceived in the future versus how it might be perceived now. You know, like how I run a sex positive, YouTube platform. It's not the most, it's very taboo, I feel like, to have this. You know, even YouTube has a lot of regulations on it right now, but I feel like in the future, it's just going to be more and more and more accepted. And so that's what I'm doing this for, you know, in the future. Or, I mean, I'm obviously doing it for right now. Well, I'm kind of doing it for the future right now because by the time that you guys will be watching this, it'll be in the future anyways. <laughs> but, but you get what I'm saying. Like, I'm literally doing this to make impacts for generations and generations and generations to come and to show you guys that you can do the exact same. And you are already doing the exact same. And to keep embracing this and to celebrate where you came from and how far you have come because it has been a long, long ride and baby, you are doing amazing. You are getting there. You've already gotten there. So start celebrating. Celebrate, 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 okay? 
Yes, and if you have been waiting on a commission work to come in, something like that, I don't know why that keeps coming to my mind. That is absolutely coming in for you guys. I totally see more financial stability. I see more investors. I see more people that are willing to support your ideas because you guys are letting go and kind of becoming detached and cold to, you know, all of the past, all of those past circ circumstances, situation, people, whatever. Yeah, that's it. Oh my goodness. Ooh. How to get a drink there after that one. That was a lot. Okay. Let's shuffle Bimbo Beats Radio and see what messages come up for you guys today. Well, we shall end it on for this beautiful collective reading. I feel like, again, you guys are just so embracing your creativity and your beautiful creative energy. Let's shuffle this. We have Sugar by Tara Jr. Yes. Yeah, so I totally see, like, yeah, it's like, um, yeah, I'm totally going to take the flight and come see you and we can kick it till the daylight. So again, you guys could totally be traveling here. I could see a lot more opportunities for travel coming in here. A lot more opportunities for making money while traveling, making money while you're on vacation, kind of like I mentioned before. Um, and especially with this sugar too, I totally see that people admire and talk about your sweet nature. I feel like there's a lot of gossip. Um, but at the end of the day, people know that you are well-intentioned. And so I feel like a lot of people got your back, you know? People know that you're just out there trying to explore and trying to make a name for yourself in the world. So that's not something that other people should be disturbing right now, okay? Okay, but let's keep going. We also have NASA. Yes, Ariana Grande. I'm a need space. I'm a need space. I'm a, I'm a need, you know, I'm a star space. Oh my God, and especially with the starlit energy too. You guys are a star, okay? You guys are the whole freaking Milky Way, the galaxy. You are hot. You are here to achieve. You are here to succeed. And so you cannot be set back by these other people out here, okay? You guys have a lot to achieve. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love how she just says, I'd rather be alone tonight. You could say, I love you through the phone tonight. Really don't want to be in your arms tonight. Yeah, exactly. Like, you guys are just like, I just would much rather use myself to stay warm. I got a lot of things to do right now. You know, you it might come off as cold, but it's not. You guys are just taking space for yourself to work on yourself and to work on what it is that you want and what makes you happy in this lifetime. It's not cold, okay? The only people that find that shit cold are the people that aren't doing that for themselves when they really, really should be. So, whoo! Keep doing you. Okay, let's get one more song for you guys today. Bimbo Beats. Again, you guys can find the link for this down below as well. We got Clarity. Yes, by Kim Petras. This is literally the perfect song. Okay, Clarity. I got Clarity. I'm the bitch with the sauce, apparently. Yeah, exactly. You guys are totally got the sauce. You guys got everything. You guys literally got everything. And you're realizing this now. You're starting to recognize just how incredible you are and just how full of this passion and this desire and this beautiful um financial stability these dreams these fantasies just how full of all of that beauty that you really are and how much you need to be chasing after that too yeah um yeah i love how she says in this song she goes I ain't worried about not a list of Gucci, list of Prada, list of Dolce and Gabbana, list of trip to the Bahamas. I wanna feel like Madonna. I wanna feel like I'm way up. Exactly. Like, you guys are totally just like out here, like, I ain't worried about this unless it's either designer, it's a vacation, or like, it's something else that's gonna be making me money. Like, I'm not here to think about any of your problems. Like, I'm here to be Madonna, okay? I wanna feel like I'm way up. I wanna feel like I'm the star that I am, you know? Yeah. Give a few of y'all drip, that's charity. I ain't worried about shit, you a parody. Exactly, like, you give these people more, and you have given them more than they can even, like, really pay you back for in the past you know especially with these people that you feel like you've really had to detach from so it's good that you kind of have realized that that's your charity you know like you should be giving away your energy oh my goodness and your voice even Woo! your advice okay that's definitely it you should be giving your away your advice when it's when it's most well received you know so i feel like that's the biggest thing too and realize that it is charity that you're doing so you should be treating it 
and honoring it. Yeah, treating it with respect and honoring it. Okay, I'm gonna end it there. <laughs> it's getting a little cloudy up in here, okay? But I love you guys so, so, so much from the bottom of my titty heart. I'm praying that this brought you all some, oh my goodness, all some clarity. Jeez Louise, which I need some right now. Um, If you like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys very, very soon, okay? Mwah!